Okay, guys, here we are with a sponsored crate challenge using the Razorback. Um, this is Volkos's deck sponsored by Nukin. Uh, we had one by Volkos earlier today, but my Razorback was only level 6, so we didn't get to use it that much, so it wasn't great. Um, now we've finished some labs, and the Razorback is up to up to 8, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get to see some Razorback action, and it'll actually do something. Pains? Then, uh, someone in the comments want to tell me what that means? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be opening barracks because we have rifles and missiles. That's a good scout. Then we'll go Harvester, see what my opponent's up to. He's Solomon, which is a good sign usually. Solomon's pretty bad. going to harass these missiles a bit. They're probably just going to try and walk all the way to my Harvester. That's what a lot of people seem to do for some reason. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. We're going to hang out near the Tiberium in case he makes a second Harvester. He does not. We're going to back up and get a defensive concave as much as we can. Then we're going to go third rifles here. I'd like to go into Razorback, but it's so expensive. Okay, he moved there, which is a big misplay. Gives us kind of a freebie here. And now we see an air tower, so we're probably going Pitbull. I'll wait and see what he makes. Yeah, absolutely going Pitbull. Could make Talon, but better to make the hard counter than to mirror him in Talons. So we'll make the Pitbull. We'll roll it in, take care of this Talon. Keep the missile charging at the same time by staying on this pad. And then we'll push up for these uh, these missiles with our rifles. And then we'll back up the pit bull so it doesn't take too much damage. Very nice. And okay, let's get the razor back. Let's see what we can okay, double shock. That's very nice for us. Now we can see some see the razor back in action. Alright, here it goes. It's really I mean it really uh, it does it does shred. It, <laughs> You know, it just, it kills him. It really, it does, it does what it says on the tin. It, it, it fulfills its obligations. Imp does die. It doesn't feel as good as a chemical buggy still, because a chemical buggy doesn't need to be there for very long. Like, a chemical buggy can duck in, do the damage, and then duck out again, and that's really powerful, because it leaves the cloud behind. Um, Razorback needs to stay in for a long time. I think it has more hit points than a chemical buggy, though, to make up for that. But yeah, that's definitely a bit of an issue. Alright, so we killed all his units. There's another Mohawk. I guess we'll just keep making Pitbull. And I'll just put a turret down if he comes forward at all. Looks like he's given up, to be honest. Alright, turret. Mission accomplished. Volkos is saying Talons are bad at defending against Razorback because of Raider. I could see that for sure. I think that that's going to be the thing of the Razorback, right? Is it's going to be highly mobile, so it's going to be difficult. It's going to be easy to chase it with Pitbull because Pitbull also has Raider. And Bikes are going to do fine because Bikes do the burst fire. But something like a Talon or a Banshee I think is going to have a pretty hard time. Um, this game I went Harvester first because I'm just not scared. A guy playing Solomon GDI, like... I mean, what's he going to do, right? <laughs> a GDI rush units are all terrible anyway, so... He's playing Solomon, so... Oh my god, it's an Orca rush. We spoke too soon, boys. We spoke too soon. We didn't play around the Orca rush. So obviously what we're going to do is run away from the Orca. He even shoots the missiles. Oh, it feels bad. Feels bad. Alright, so the Orca's dead. Um, He doesn't have a Harvester. I guess we'll make a pit bull in case he does make a harvester. He's constantly surrendered. Okay. I know for sure I'm going to get some comments uh, on this video saying, why don't I get opponents like that? Because <laughs> I get those comments quite a lot. Establishing battlefield control. Alright. Matter Plagas from Crouch Control. Are we worried about this guy also Orca rushing us? You know, I honestly feel like I'm not that worried about it. I think I'm uh, I think I'm okay with an Orca rush here. So we're gonna go harvester first again. Building online. I go back and forth on whether you should go scout, you know, or harvester first. I think generally speaking, my advice to 99% of people would be you wanna go scout unit first. But, uh, well, if it costs 10, just to be clear, you shouldn't go, like, bikes before harvester that often. 
Um, but yeah, if it costs 10, I think you should generally go scout unit first. But if you're pretty confident that you're not going to get rushed or you can defend the rush fairly easily, then it is kind of safe to go for the uh, to go for the harvester first. Okay, so that was the second harvester, obviously. So we're going to push in now, make the pit bull, try and go harass his harvester. Get this on them. We're going to get some more missiles. They're just a cheap, efficient unit right now. Something that can harass the harvester well. And we're going to keep charging the missile the whole time as well. Ooh, snipers. Okay, well, we have Razorback. Um, we're obviously quite far away from it. But we also have Talon. So I guess, yeah, this is why Talon is in the deck. The idea of the Talon being in the deck is you can pull out the Talon early. Before you can afford the Razorback. Because the Razorback's quite pricey. Um, and then it gives you a little bit of anti-air support as well. Like, Talon's just a really nice unit. So we do take down that. We're going to try and get our Talon to kill his uh, Harvester. And I'm going to leave this one hit point. Sniper squad. Alan does not do a good job killing Harvester, sadly. We're going to pull in some missiles to, to help out. Man, his missiles killed my Talon. Feels bad. Alright, let's get a Razor back and see how it does. I mean, the thing I will say about Razorback is it's cool. It's a cool unit. It's fun to use. Oh my god, double zone trooper. Alright, we're going to go turret and Razorback. Get the Razorback on this thing. Hold all the pads and block him off. I mean, the Razorback is shredding those zones, like... Oh, oi! Just about got there. Um, the zones weren't shooting the Razorback, which obviously is why we were shredding. But, um, yeah, you can see that how much... Like, it's also down two levels. It does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Oh, Rezzer again? Pretty sure we already played this guy, because I remember the, the name. Is this the guy who Orca rushed us? I'm gonna go rifles first just in case. It's hard to tell, they've all been playing Solomon. Okay, this time he's missile rushing us. Also a potent strategy. So we're gonna go double rifle, make shut this down. Keep the missile charging the whole time as well, and then harvester. Alright, send this guy over here to scout and keep the missile charging. And we'll get missiles to go for us. Just because they're cheap. Oh, it's the shock, the shock trooper guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. He had like shock trooper and mohawk. Yeah, yeah. No problem. All right, so we'll set up a defensive concave. This is again another example of a time when we want to go Talon. We can't afford the razor back yet, but we do need an answer to these shocks early. He hasn't actually taken this third pad, so we're just going to fire the missile, which is nice. All right, good job, Talon. We'll just leave it to to fight, and we'll get the razor back now. I know you all, you all just want to see more Razorback action, so we're definitely going to do that. Yeah, get him, Razorback. Get him. Pew, 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 pew. I don't really think pew pew is the appropriate noise, because it obviously fires so damn quickly. But I don't think I can do an accurate interpretation of a uh, Razorback. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, man. Like, I'm not... This is a fun unit to use. This is, like, this is good design. Because even if it sucks, or is overpowered, at least it's, like, hella fun to use. It reminds me of the first time I played Avatar. You know, Avatar is just fun. It's just a fun unit to use. You just have, you have fun when you're playing Avatar. Yeah, get him. Get him, Razorback. Yeah, look at this thing go. Absolutely annihilating them. Feels good, man. I like it. I like the unit. You know, I don't know if it's strong yet. But it's just, it's hella fun to play. That's, uh, that's a good, that's a good unit in my opinion earlier uh the first look at it you will have seen that razorback um razorback shreds snipers super hard like you can you can dive double pitbull and still kill snipers which is something venom is not capable of doing uh genonymous i remember this guy this guy used to have like the most played games in the world he had like an actually outrageous number of games played um and i think nukin has overtaken him now i think nukin has the most games played now so he's gone for a laser drone rush. Uh, we scouted, so it didn't work. Feels good. And now we're going to go block his harvester. He probably has venom as well. People who go laser drone rush tend to have venom. So we're going to block his harvester for as long as possible. Whilst we wait for him to make like his venom or whatever. And we're going to bring the missiles over to harass as well. Yeah, there's the venom. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Alright, let's get the pitfall. We'll let the missiles fight. There's no point trying to retreat them. They just get run down anyway. So we might as well get some damage in. And we'll get some more missiles because he's probably going to go laser drone. But he went for another Venom, that's good. Our pit bull can kill that. In fact, we're just going to ignore it and go straight for the harvester again. Yeah, there's the laser drones. 
As long as we pull back constantly, it should be easy enough. We can do like some circle scraping on the half. Double. All right, we need to get out of here. Run, little pitbull, run. Hopefully it lives. If we can get it back behind the missile troopers, then, you know, it'll be safe. All right, cool. We did. All right, let's push up. Push up hard with everything. Get a razor back as well. Razor back! Razor back hype! Like, oh, scarabs? We're definitely gonna catch these scarabs. What's up, scarabs? See ya! Feels good, man. Bikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice bikes, bro. Nice bikes. I think this is like the ideal scenario with the Razorback. You want to set up missiles defensively and then have the Razorback protect them. The problem is the Razorback doesn't protect them as efficiently as a chem buggy, which is why it doesn't feel as good as the chem buggy. Like, chem buggy is so good at protecting missile troopers and, and mutant marauders. It's still good. I'm, I'm not going to say it's bad, but like, these bikes are going to come in and it's really hard for me to kill militants whilst avoiding the bikes, which is what I want to be able to do. Yeah, see you later, Scarabs. Hilarious. This is a, I mean, I know I've said it a bunch already, but this is a really fun unit to use. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Looks like we're bugged out a little bit here. Not sure how long we're going to have to wait. Might be a desync. I haven't had one of them in a while. Objective complete. Alright, there it is. But yeah, I believe it's Nukin now with the most games played. The thing is, Nukin might not have the most wins on his profile, but you've got to remember that he has like a 50% win rate, so actually his games played is twice that. Alright, so rifles, harvester, once it's gone harvester, okay, it's a pretty late harvester. Let's charge the missile. We're going to be ready to move if we see a second harvester appear. And we'll get these missiles over here. Alright, he's got missiles. Let's start harass. Keep charging the missile as well. Generally speaking, as if you're GDI, um, I would say, like, t generally kind of tend to stall a little bit more. But against another GDI player, and also Liang, and also, like, at this level, like in this event, I'm predicting tech more often than not. So, Alright, so we got Talon for the snipers. Feels good. Some double snipers. Feels bad for him. Alright, let's get a Razy B. Hopefully he makes some more imp. I just made a razor back. Oh, see like snipers. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, feels good. Oh, slingshot. No! The pain of my deck. Right, let's get the missiles on the slingshot. Missiles are so slow, they're so bad at chasing. Let's see how the Razorback does at trying to dive a slingshot. Pretty good. I mean, he's moving, which is obviously... Yeah, I mean, we killed those snipers pretty easily. Obviously, he was moving for most of the time. Let's go back in and try again. Let's try with it, like, basically stationary. Ooh, that's a bit rougher. That's a bit rougher. That went down really quick. It is minus two levels, though, so... I might have something to do with it. Static from No Alliance playing Solomon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I, I mean, I don't understand Solomon's play rate. I just, it's the worst PDI Three, commander for sure. Two, one. New objective received. Jump jet rush. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Another reason to scout first, boys. Like, I mean, like, people are like, oh, how you beat rushes? The best way to beat a rush is just to, to not make a harvester. That is the hard counter to someone rushing you, is to just not make a harvester. Alright, so that was pretty easy to hold off. We can make the harvester now. I feel pretty safe. It also looks like his snipers don't one-shot my rifles, so that's like the feels worst moment. He went jump jet and sniper as well, so he's invested a lot. He has invested a lot in this rush. 
Another sniper. Okay, he definitely doesn't have a harvester then. There's no way he can afford that. But we can just go straight into Talon and then I don't know what he does. I don't see how he beats that. We'll definitely make a razor back if we get enough money, but yeah, this Talon should just shut him down completely. Cool. I guess we'll get a razor back on the base. See what it does. Or on the half. Let's check out what Razorback vehicle damage is like. I'm guessing it's not good. Like, harvester damage is not good. Yeah. Can confirm. Absolutely not good. <laughs> really bad. That makes sense, though, for sure. Let's go on the base and see what it does. Oh, double half. Like it. Okay. Also terrible against the base. Yeah. This was predictable, to be fair. Get a pit bull because he built air tower. Yeah, this is, uh, this is doing straight nothing. Go back to the harvester. Alright, cool. Enemy base destroyed. So yeah, Razorback not good against base or vehicle. <laughs> I think it does like kind of okay versus bikes because bikes have such low hit points. Establishing battlefield control. Wow, we have not played. No, we have played against one nod, right? We got laser drone rush. Is that it? Maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna think a lot of GDI though, which is weird. Three, two, one. New objective. Gonna go rifles first again. I feel like I feel like people are pretty rush happy in these events. All right, we went dogs first. We can go harvester. We just use the rifles. We use the rifles to block the dogs to make sure he doesn't stop us harvesting. Like this. And then we go missile. Okay, cool. So rifle plus uh, missile does enough damage. The rifles do enough extra chip damage that a dog will die per missile, pretty much. So it's a really nice combo against dogs. And I want to go air, but he's just making pit, uh, just making dogs, so we're going to have to go pit bull. I don't think I've made an Orca yet this entire run. The sad thing is, even though I'm getting like these good matchups, I'm not actually that far ahead because his dogs combined only cost him like, what, 30? And my rifle and missile cost 30 as well, so... It feels like I should be further ahead because I like get the 3v2 and win. But I'm just not. It feels bad. Alright, let's get some, uh, let's get some Talon. This is basically why the Talon's in the deck, is because you have scenarios like this where you need some anti-infantry in the early game. And the Razorback is just too expensive. So you need something cheaper to get you started. Uh oh, slingshot. That's not good. Get out of the way, the slingshot. Yeah, this is bad. Um, we're going to need rifles, for sure. Alright, the Talon can move up now. Alright, let's push up. Let this Talon die. Pop cap reasons. Get another pit bull. And turret here. Oh, an APC. That's pretty scary. Alright, let's block the APC, get you on the pad. Kill off the slingshot as well, very nice. Um, just don't really feel like Orca is, is the thing I want right now. Yeah, Orca. Oh shit, I didn't fire the missile yet. I, for some reason I thought I'd fire the missile, I don't know why. It's actually like quite far away from firing. Yeah, just completely, uh, completely zoned out there. I think it's because I had such good control of all the pads, I was like, I'm definitely gonna fire it. And then I forgot to actually wait for it to fire. Alright, so let's get the razor back. Did you guys see that? The razor back like duped backwards because it was being bumped out, but because it has the movement where it doesn't have to turn around, it did this really cool like duke backwards thing. That was decent. I like that. Alright, get the orca, go in, kill the slingshot. Razor back can take these guys out. Get another orca for the slingshot. This is kind of my problem with slingshot. Like, it's this anti air unit that sometimes loses to air units. <laughs> And that feels really bad, because the only thing it does is anti-air, and then sometimes it loses to air. And you're like, why did I put this thing in my deck that only kills air, and also doesn't beat air? But slight miss micro from my opponent there. Get a, get a turret. This Razorback's kind of killing these dogs at a reasonable a reasonable rate. I've been told that it does like no... I was told it doesn't kill dogs quickly, but I think that was okay. Like, it wasn't amazing or anything. It wasn't terrible. Another Razorback. Alright, this looks pretty locked up now. 
Alright, cool. Same guy again. He tried to jump Joe Russell's last time, right? Oh no, that was the guy before. This is the guy who went dog first. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to occupy this pad with the rifles. That way if he tries to block, we guarantee we have a pad open. Okay, he didn't even try and block, so didn't need to sacrifice my rifles. But in fact, I just forgot this is the guy who opened dogs, honestly. So yeah, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go into Pitbull. He's going to go into Sniper. We're going to go into Talon. He's going to go into Sling. And then, you know, that's that's where we're going to be at. He also has APC, so I need to be aware of that. I probably want to charge because his decks... Yeah, there's the snipers. Alright, so let's get the pit bull and back up with our infantry. He knows what we're going to do this time. Though. He knows we're going to go into the air. Just jump jet. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, we really need the air. Feels like he um, tech switched a lot quicker this time than last time. He already has the slingshot ready. It's not good. I don't think we're going to win this missile. I don't think it's even going to be close. I don't really see how we win this missile, honestly. Hang on, maybe? The turret? Turret and missile spam, maybe? Turret is very good. Turret could definitely win us the missile. Alright, nice. Not dead yet. It comes an APC. If we can block this, we can definitely win the missile. Alright, nice. We blocked it pretty well. Okay. Alright. Comeback's real. Now we just need to move up. And use the Pitbull strafe. Oh. Oh, hey! Alright, good job, team. Okay, so we're going to get a Razor back. Because he has these, uh... These jump jets and these snipers. We're going to get the Pitbull to kill the Slingshot. Alright, nice. This is going pretty well. Razorback over here again. Send the Pitbull at Sling. Get the Razorback to finish off the Imp. Another Pitbull. Okay, yeah. It's going really well. Kill off the Sling. I feel like killing the Slings is, uh, is important. Because it lets us move back in with the Razorback. That's what I want to be doing. I might just have to go in with the Razorback anyway. Yeah, let's just go double Razorback. We want to we wanna make an Orca as soon as we can. Alright, he's gone double Sling now, so... That's actually pretty bad for me that he's gone double Sling, because I really just want to make air. I guess we just go into Infantry. Yeah, we just go into Infantry for sure. Get the turret and shoot the snipers with it. Finish off these snipers with the razor back, and then we'll go pit bulls again. That's the that's the aim of the game, really, is just to keep tech switching into the a unit that he's not good against. All right, so now the slingshot is in the wrong place. We can move back in with the razor back. Move this over here. Get the pit bull over here. We can finish this sling. That'd be nice. I right, run all the pads. Pretty good. I think we're going to take it. All right, very nice. That's generally the problem with these decks that have a lot of units that are only good against one thing. Like, when he overcommits on snipers, I go into air. When he overcommits on sling, I go into pit. When he overcommits on uh, jump jets, I go into air again. You just keep rotating around the different unit that he doesn't have the right right answer to right now. Whereas my units are, are flexible. My um, my pit bulls are good versus all his vehicles. My, my Razorback's good versus everything else. And then I can just switch into infantry when he doesn't have snipers. Copycat says make sure you don't overcommit to anything. It's actually not that important that I don't overcommit because my units are way cheaper. Like if I overcommit on pit bulls or whatever, then he has to make a bunch of jump jets and I've only made like, well not <laughs> buggy rush guy. Well, I mean, we've counted him by not making a harvester boys. The best counter in the game to rushes. Now the question is, do we go pit bull? Or do we go harvest? I think we could just go pit bull. Yeah, we just go pit bulls, kill off these buggies. 
in a dog fight. My bite is bigger than my bark. My bite is bigger than my bark. Oh, then you blast them. More missiles. The efficiency of missiles is pretty hard for him to beat, I think. Send the rifles over to his harvester, make sure he doesn't have one. He just concedes. Okay, well, there you go, guys. 10 and 0. <laughs> Enemy base just Fair enough. Nice rush. How many times did we get rushed? And, like, almost every single one, we just scouted it and it was a joke to defeat. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't rush. Like, that's why you should also scout. Alright, boys. There it is. 10 and 0. Um, don't get great challenge premium it's it's not bad it's an okay one um but i think the resource and scavenge uh, resource and showdown are both better and showdown only costs credits to rerun like 100 credits so you can do it over and over until you get a 10-0 and then spend your premiums there all right guys i hope you enjoyed the the razorback action i really i really enjoy that unit i think it's a lot of fun um it reminds me of i'm trying to think what other i think like, i feel like fanatics were a ton of fun when they first came out now everyone knows they're like insanely broken, so they're less fun because it's kind of like you feel like you're abusing them. But yeah, they were a lot of fun when they first came out and it feels like that. I don't think it's as strong as Fnatic. I'm not sure that the unit has a place in the meta game yet, but hopefully, man, like it's a cool unit. It's it, it definitely good against the Chemtrooper meta we have right now. Um, so yeah, obviously, if you guys want Razorbacks, the only way to get them at the moment is to pay 15 of your local currency, probably about 15 of your local currency. That'll guaranteed unlock Razorbacks, but it's not a very good deal in terms of the amount of items you get for the money. Um, the other way to do it is the 100 diamonds with a 10% chance to drop. That's such a scam, man. I don't like that at all. Um, like, the random added gambling into the game for no reason feels bad for me. Poppycat says, I disagree with not buying the bundle. You don't get stuff for free. You're paying to get it a week early. I don't think it's toxic at all um just to be clear it's the 10 percent to get the unit it's not it's not buying the unit that i have a problem with it's this 10 percent thing this thing here where you're not even buying the unit you're buying this stupid crate with a 10 percent chance to get them i think that's horrible so that's the that's the thing i have a problem with like this is bad value but you do unlock the razor back so that's fine this is just this is so like this kind of marketing should not be allowed like people should take a stand against this kind of thing because this is outrageous anyway uh i'm i'm i've been rambling we'll stop now hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, see you next time